On September 2, 2022, Brookhaven police officers responded to a report of a hit-and-run accident in Atlanta, Georgia. The victim, a woman, described being rear-ended by another vehicle that left the scene without exchanging information. Hello. Busy. How are you? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what happened? Uh, I was turning, waiting to turn on to Osborne right here. And yeah, which, which way were you going first? Right. You were going that way? Yeah. Okay. Which uh, lane were you in? The turn lane. There's like, uh, it was literally right over there, but, well, it's part of the story. So I was turning on to, to Priest Tree from Osborne and... You were turning on to Peach Tree from yeah, Osborne? Yeah, yes. And okay. I was rear-ended and I got, I stopped my car, got out, and the guy said... Were you rear-ended on Osborne or on Peach Tree? Like, really on the corner. Like, I was waiting, I was like, you know, looking to see if, if there was a car coming and um, the guy... Uh, me. The guy um, rear-ended me, I stopped the car, got out, he said, why don't we pull around so we can talk, because it was like, there was traffic, and then he left. And then the people behind us saw what happened, and they took a picture of his license plate, okay. and um, they gave me their information if you need to, to talk with them. Um, yeah, so this is like exactly. Can you zoom in on that? Yeah, yeah. CGV 1057. And they saw him pull actually into this um, apartment complex. And then, okay. um, yeah, and then this is the woman's name if you, I don't know if you need her information to confirm anything. Um, who saw, who took this picture? Um, yeah. Laura. What's her? Hey, ma'am. Yes. What did the What this guy look like? Um, he was like a young adult. I mean, he looked like he could was he like white? Was he black? Hispanic? He was black. Black. Okay. I mean, I did not really get a close look at him. How old ish? Maybe thirties. Maybe twenties. 20s or 30s, like around my age, I'm 31. I don't know. He looked young, young. So early 30s. Yeah. He didn't get out of his car or anything. He didn't um, get out. Okay. No, no. I um, got out. Do you have hair? Was he shaved, clean, or bald, or um, facial hair? He had hair. I think he. I want to say he had. Was it colored or was it black? It was black. It was um, braided. But it was, like maybe dreads, like um, I don't know if it's dreads, but it looked like braids. Braids. Yeah, or, okay. or dreads. Like, like but rose short. or the no. one or they actually hung down his no, back. No, no, no. Short, short. Short. Ones. Yeah. Okay. Facial hair. I. Don't think so. Um, I honestly I could not tell you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, do you know, how did, how exactly did he hit you? I mean, did he, was it like the corner of his bumper that hit you right here? Or was it like the middle of his bumper? I didn't even see his car. It's hard for me to know. I mean, I guess, okay. I mean, honestly, from this picture, the way it looks is that he hit the corner because nothing else is damaged on that. Well, side. I'm clear. Obviously he hits your corner. Yeah. I think I'm trying was... to figure out if he. If what part of his front bumper he hit you with I is see. his damage oh, going to be in the, oh, middle in the middle or on the left or on the right? It looks like it would be because this is well, this is after it happened, but I'm guessing it would have been on his right. Probably on his passenger yeah. side. Okay. Yeah. All right. What happens to this person if you find them? He gets arrested. He gets arrested? Oh yeah. You go to jail for hit and run. Oh man, I did not realize that. Come on, Okay. That's, uh, that's your case number. Okay. Um, the address and phone number for the police department are on the front, along with my name and my email address. Um, Reports are usually ready for pickup three to five business days at that address that's on the front. Okay. Um, call that main phone number. 
and uh, give them the case number, and okay. they'll tell you whether or not it's ready for pickup. Okay. And then you'll have to actually come up there to pick it up. Okay. Um, and then I can use that for my insurance? Yeah, just call your insurance company, tell them what happened, okay. um, and they'll tell you what they want you to do, and okay. I almost guarantee you they'll want you to uh, uh, I, get yeah, them a copy of the report. That's, what, I, that's so. what my parents said to you, so yeah. Okay. All right. All right, thank you, sir. All right, you're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Shortly after the officer took the report, dispatch informed him that a woman, not man, had called to report the accident, claiming she was the driver and the victim had fled the scene. Yep. Front end damage? Yep. Yeah, when you gave, when you gave Blake the tag, mm -hmm. dispatch must have run it. Yeah. And she sent me a message that said, that vehicle comes back registered to your complainant. Based on the victim's description, officers knew the driver was male. They proceeded to speak with the woman to hear her account of the incident. Ask her how she uh, found out about the vehicle accident. Mm -hmm. and if she lies about the way she found out about the vehicle accident, then charge her with false charge report, her with of, a false report of a crime. Yep. Uh, that's what I figured. What was and it, one, two, one? Yeah, and I think he he was saying to J1 that the dude also, I mean, I guess we got to be able to. We got to be able to put him behind the put wheel. Him in, yeah, put him in the car. Ask her how, uh, I can see, it's 114. The woman opened the door and admitted to being the driver involved in the accident. She explained that the other driver had exited their vehicle to assess the damage but left the scene after noticing no visible damage to their own car. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? Hey, how's it going? Hey. Hey. What's going on? I was going into the neighborhood kind of, well, okay. before, and then let's go like really hard stop on her brakes and then hit her car then she gets out of the car looks at her car nothing's wrong with her car and i'm like to the to into this neighborhood and then she just pulls off okay and now my car is the only one with issues okay where's the damn where's your car at the abby it's my car where's the damage on it in the front on what side like on the left on the left yeah and she like i feel like she knew she hard stopped and I feel like that's why she left and didn't want to pull in. Okay. Which direction were you coming from? I was coming from like Publix area. Public, so I was Publix area. Publix, Publix is on this side, and the Alex package is right here, and then that's okay. right, here, right okay. in front of Alex. In so you park. were making, so you were making a right into the. No, I complex? was coming into the neighborhood. Yeah, I was making a right into yeah. the neighborhood. Yeah. Okay. So you were making a right into the complex. And you said she was leaving the complex. No, I guess she was maybe leaving. She was coming the same direction as me, I guess. She was okay. right in front of me. Like we, it was right in front of Alex's package. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out if you were making a right right there, that would mean the right front of your car would be going in, so how, you said that the damage was on the left. Yeah. No, we weren't turning yet. It's like right in front of Alex's package, so we're at the light. Okay. And so, we're at the stop sign, I mean at the stop light. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of, I mean, she could have she could have gone at the yellow, and I think she stopped because she thought those cars by the park were coming. So she hard stopped. I thought she was going to keep going. So were you at, when I hit her. So were you turning into the apartment complex, or were you turning 
going down straight. down Osborne. We were going straight. Okay, so you weren't at the we entrance weren't of the complex yet. Yeah, no, you we were, were right you there. were at Osborne at Osborne Road. Right, and then you've got the park across the street. Yes. Okay, that's Os that's Osborne Road. Okay. okay. And where which direction was the other park? So, okay, so she stopped and you and you ran into the back of her car. Yeah. Okay. Did you happen to get Did you happen to get a tag number or a picture or anything? No, her car was great. I thought she was gonna pull into the neighborhood, so I thought I had time and stuff. Okay. Um. Wh who was the who was driving your car? Me. You were driving it. Yeah. Okay. Was anybody with you? No, my husband just got back from work. He just got. What does he drive? He, we drive the same car. You drive the same car. Mm -hmm. Okay, but he hasn't been out in your car. Yeah, he was. He just got back from work earlier today. Okay, but when the accident happened, you say you were driving. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go look at your car. As long as we can see the damage. And it's so crazy. Somebody hit my car in the parking lot, in this parking lot, like, not too long ago. So I just got like the so back. So just out of curiosity, if it happened, because that's this is the back side of the park right here. Yeah. If it happened down over there, how come you didn't call the police down there? I what? pulled into the neighborhood. I thought we were pulling into the neighborhood, and she did. You thought she was gonna pull yes, into yes, the neighborhood? Yes. I was like, and she just kept going. I'm like, oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> You don't happen to have a camera or anything in your car that would have caught it, would you? And I don't know how she didn't have anything on her car. She literally jumped out at the at the light, like she didn't even wait to like pull over to the side or nothing. What she, she can her door. can you describe her to me? What she looks like? Young hot girl, long beach, I mean long black hair. Hold on. Get my notebook. Great car. It could have been. I don't know, I don't know cars very well, but it was like a four-door car like mine. Said it was a gray four-door car? Mm -hmm. And she's a slim black girl with had long hair. Dark hair. About how tall would you say she is? Maybe my height? How tall are you? Five four. About how much would you say she weighs? She was slim, so she, I mean she Maybe mine, 130, 120, something. Yeah, she's skinny. And you said she had long black hair? Yeah. What was she wearing? Like, what color pants, what color shirt? She had biker shorts on, so black biker shorts. Black, like yeah. the spandex? Um, yeah, like leggings-ish. What, what color shirt was she wearing? Like a grayish, kind of like together. Anything else? Any tattoos or anything that you notice about her? Any any sort of other distinguishing? Anything distinguishing about the car? Bumper stickers or anything like that? Was it a Georgia? Stickers. Was it a Georgia license plate? I think it was Georgia. I mean, I wasn't. It's just a gray car. <laughs> a gray okay. four door car. Chrome rims, tinted windows, anything like that? I don't know. Chrome, chrome rims. Uh, um, no, she didn't have ten windows because we were looking at each other. Because that's when that's how I was like going like this. She was looking at me when I was okay doing the hand signal to pull in here. Okay. Um, do you have your ID on you? No, it's in the car. Can you run and get it real quick? And then it's the Labor Day weekend, so you don't think you know it's probably gonna be like all backed up to get this fixed, right? I mean, as far as getting the car fixed, I have no idea. We don't have anything to do with that. But if you can go grab your ID for me real quick.
Meanwhile, officers inspected the damage to the woman's vehicle and contacted the victim again, who reiterated that the other driver was male. Hi, this is Officer Thompson with the Brookhaven Police. Good, how are you? Um, I wish I was doing the same. Um, is, did you possibly get a look at the person that was driving that car, or did you just see the car itself? African-American male with, dread, with dreadlocks. Uh, it actually does quite a bit for me. Bye. Confronting the woman, officers offered her an opportunity to tell the truth. She eventually confessed that the driver was her husband. Miss, we need to talk about something, okay? And I need you to be honest with me. Okay. All right. Okay. Who was driving your car when you were in an accident? When that car was in an accident? I already know the answer to this. I'm giving you the opportunity to be honest with me. I know it wasn't you. Because the other person that was hit called also. the other officer was the one that's here with me mm -hmm. was the one working the accident okay. and when he gave out the tag number as the suspect vehicle in the hit and run that he was working okay. and I ran it I saw that the vehicle that was his suspect vehicle that the register owner matched my complainant so listen this is where you need to be very honest with me because that determines what happens from this point forward okay. so do you want to tell me who was driving that vehicle? Yeah. Who was driving it? My husband. Your husband? Yeah. What's his name? Rayvon Thomas. Okay. Why would he leave the scene? He told me he told her to pull into the neighborhood. And she didn't. I mean, it's literally right in front well, of the house. Well, so here's the here's the problem, though. But remember, I already I, when I'm asking you these questions, there's a lot of things that I already know already the know. answers yeah. to, right? Mm -hmm. So you described the driver of the other car as a younger black female wearing spandex pants, a grayish shirt with long black hair. And I also know that that's not true. So you're still lying to me. Not at this moment, but then, yes. So were you in the car when this happened? No, I was okay. home with the child. So why would he leave? I've already run his name. He doesn't have warrants out for his arrest or anything like that. There's nothing wrong with that car. There's all, nothing. All, he literally told all, me yeah. he told her to pull into the neighborhood and she kept going. He he literally, she didn't keep going. She called the police. Cause and she pulled into the, the parking lot of the strip mall right next door. So why not this store one? Store. So why not this one? I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't why didn't there. he just follow her into where she turned into instead of zipping in here and then having you call us and pretend like something else driving. happened? That I was driving. Mm -hmm. Well, you realize that could get you jammed up, right? For false report of a crime. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I called because I am the only person insured on the car, and that's. It doesn't matter as long yeah. as the car is insured. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who's driving it. Again, yeah. it's got insurance. The registration is fine. He doesn't have any warrants out for his arrest or anything like that. So I don't understand why he would. I don't understand why he would have you do that. Because I thought I was going to be really upset. I don't know. That's well, all I where, where is he? Upstairs. Okay. Child when? up there with him? He's taking a nap. How old is he? 15 months. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to let you stay right here with Officer Thompson real quick. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a phone call. I'll be right back. Okay. See what happens when you're on. I, I, I literally just took the accident report from the lady that he hit in front of the, in the parking lot of the UPS store right next door. So did she hard stop? No. She said, I, I mean, honestly, it doesn't yeah. matter if she did. Yeah. I mean, because if, she was hit from the back. So if, if you rear in somebody, it's that's your at fault. Yeah. That's that's just how it is. Um, mm -hmm.
I mean, she didn't say that she stopped particularly hard. Um, the witness didn't say that she stopped particularly hard either. Um, and that was how I got your tag number. It was the, there was a witness in the car behind him that took a picture of the tag as he was driving it all, driving off and texted it to the, the lady that he hit. Okay. And she gave it to me. Um, 130, how'd the accident and injury? So. Okay. I mean, yeah, she's fine. She's fine. Minor, minor, minor damage to her car. Minor damage to her car. Oh, yeah. First party yeah, her, her back bumper has uh, got, a, got a nice chunk blocking. taken out of it. Okay, yeah, cause I was like, Just like your front bumper does. Yeah, I was like, there not be any damage on the other person's car. And there's, there's some silver paint transfer on your front end that matches the color of her car. So. Well, that, that's a separate charge in and of itself. That's called false report of a crime, which um, honestly, I would have to look it up to tell you how big a deal it is. I don't think it's all that big a deal, but I um, my supervisor so I was speaking with him to let him know kind of what we have going on right now um, so here's the deal since you've been honest with me uh, I'm gonna be very honest with you okay he's gonna go to jail today for hit and run okay now um, I am hoping that uh, through this process that you're gonna remain as cooperative as you've been um, because there again, in the interest of honesty, uh, at this point, probable cause exists to take you to jail as well, right? For false report of a crime. So that's what I was discussing with my supervisor. We obviously take into account the fact that you have a child up there, right? Um, and in the event that the both of you were to go to jail, we would have to call defects. Turn the child over defects. We don't want to do that. We really don't want to do that. Okay. So Especially not one that young. Um, I appreciate your honesty and your cooperation. Um, so let's let's keep it that way. All right. Uh, are there any? First question: Are there any weapons in your residence? No weapons. Well, I mean, I mean outside of outside of kitchen Wait. kitchen knives. Yeah, Does he have a firearm or anything no. like that? Taser. No? Okay. Um, what kind of taser is it? Is it one that that shoots darts out the front end? Or is it one that you got to actually touch somebody with the front end of it? Whatever you say. I mean, it's just in a thing. Like, you know, like a case. Okay. Okay. Um, second question. Is he intoxicated? No. He's not intoxicated, so he hasn't had anything to drink. No, he doesn't drink. I, I, know, I do know that he's had some issues in the past with, I, I'm going to assume that it was with marijuana. Uh -huh. um, which, there again, in, in for the sake of honesty, we could really care less about the marijuana unless he was under the influence when he was driving. Okay? No, just got off of work. Okay. So, um, so you said there's no, there's no weapons in there, he's not intoxicated or anything like that, right? Okay. So this is what I'd like to do. Um, we're going to accompany you back up there to the apartment. Um, as opposed to going inside, what I'd like you to do is uh, either either allow us to come inside, uh, but call him to the front door and have him come out there. Yeah, can I just tell him to come outside? Yeah, as long as they're like, caught off guard and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, might react Preferably. ridiculous. Like I don't know if he'll be like, oh my god, why? And all this crazy shit. Yeah, as like, as long as as long tell as him to come outside. Yeah, and we would. Yeah, preferably we would quiet. prefer that he comes out to the breezeway. Yeah. We obviously don't want to tell him what it's for until yeah. he comes out there. Um, we what? also, if anything does happen, we don't want it to happen in front of your child. Yeah. Right. No, he's not okay. gonna. He's just gonna be like, you know, sometimes he'll just be like. I understand, like, but we we yeah. have to we have to plan for those kind of things. No, yeah, no. I just wish they, he. I'm I'm here to tell you. Had yeah. he just stopped yeah. and called the police, he'd have he, got he'd have he'd, gotten a traffic ticket. He'd have got a traffic ticket, and, and that would have been it. it. 
the good news is he's going to get arrested for hit and run. It's a misdemeanor. He'll get a bond. He'll get a bond. Um, you'll be able to get him out probably this evening sometime. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and, and go back up there. And like I said, when, when you open the door, just ask him if he can come to the door and step outside. You know. Are you going to like park him in front of our neighbors or will you bring him down here? I don't want them to think that we're like bad nature. No, we're... we're like, I understand. Um, we'll... We're probably going to have to handcuff him. Because you have to understand from our standpoint, yeah, if we get him out, we don't know if he's going to try to run. Or, it, right. So, and we want to we wanna avoid, you know, anything anything like that. Okay? So, again, we appreciate your, your honesty and your cooperation. So, uh, no, I understand. No, I understand. But I would prefer that you not go no. back into the apartment. Okay. Is that him there coming down the stairs? Officers proceeded to the apartment and arrested the male suspect. He claimed the incident was a misunderstanding, believing the other driver had simply left the scene. Do me a favor. Place your hands behind your back for me. Okay. Hold on. If you had just stopped, we literally, we literally, I literally flagged the lady down to come into the, it's literally the next light, and she kept straight. She went to the other one. So she, the she, pulled into, she pulled into the parking lot right next door. And she was in front of you. If you were interested in working out the accident, why would you just not follow her? No, I told her to Instead follow. of pulling in here and Dude, do me a favor. Spread your feet for me. Okay, spread your feet for me. You have anything in your pockets that's going to post phone. poke me or stick me? Just, just your phone? Just All right. So here's the deal. It's a misdemeanor. You'll get a bond as soon phone? as you... Can I if you want to, you can have it, yeah. Okay. It's a misdemeanor. You'll get a bond. She'll be able to get you out probably this evening, okay? Where am I going? Burgundy? Uh, it would be DeKalb County. Okay. Can I get like a shirt? Is it can I go yeah. get him a shirt? Yeah, 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 you can go get him a shirt. Yeah, you can go get him a shirt. Is it only shirt? You can go get him a shirt. Is it cold? I don't know if it's cold. Well, they, they'll they'll get. I mean, they, if if he's cold in this, they'll give him. They'll dress him out. But here's the thing. With, listen, with a misdemeanor, with a misdemeanor bond, like the faster we get down there, the quicker yeah, they can process him in. In Typically, the, that process takes two to three hours, and he'll be available to get that bond and get out. So, it, again, the quicker yeah. we go, the quicker you can get him out. Can you go ahead and start AMR to my location? Okay. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. So, um, do you want to pull... Are you going to do this one on yours, or you want me to do it? I'll do it on mine. Just write, just write me a cell phone. Okay, yeah. Do um, you want to grab your car and pull it up over here? Yeah. Let's, let's walk on down here and we're just going to sit at the bottom of the stairs, okay? I just said I don't want my wife to be embarrassed or my kid or... Anything. I understand. And we didn't, and we didn't, we didn't want to... She's... I just sit up at the door at least. And sort of... how, about, how about right here? Oh, that's cool. I just, just didn't want to be... I, yeah, no. I apologize. Like no, I said, it's I okay. told the lady to listen, pull. Like listen. she literally stopped out of nowhere. We, we explained to your wife, man, had you just stopped and called the police right then and there, you the reason why we didn't stop right then and there is because there was literally she was in front, there was I was behind, there was a line behind, and we're at the light. We we're like literally the two next cars. Right. I flagged her. I told her to go to the neighborhood right, right. here. Well, and okay, listen to me. Um, I believe you. I know you believe me. Okay. I mean, it's, it's, where, it's where where we where we start to have the problem is when we already. We already had the, the vehicle tag and all that. We, we'd already worked the accident with the other lady. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of... But kinda, it wasn't even like 10 but, but here's the thing. Called. But the thing is, when we kind of have an idea of what happened, mm -hmm. and then we talk to her, and she gives us a completely different story, that's where we start to run into the problem, okay? So... 
I don't want you. And I want you to understand something. I don't want you to be upset with her. I'm, be, I'm not because, upset. With, I'm upset with myself. Because here's like, because here's the thing. By not telling us the truth initially, she runs the risk of arrested, false yeah. report of a crime. I understand. And and we didn't want to do that because you guys have a child up there, and you know that, that there's a whole lot of different implications that go with that, right? So we wanted to avoid that. Okay. So it, it's. I just got to go to work. It's Six a.m. tomorrow. I mean. Right. Is this, this uh, okay. shirt? We'll take this with you. They'll let you put it on when we get down there. Okay. Um, and you I said call? you. So you can call the Brookhaven Police Department. Okay. okay. Um, you'll have to give it a little bit. You'll have to give it an hour or so for them to get the citation, and then you'll be able to then you'll be able to bond them out. You'll have to go up to DeKalb. Okay. 0414 That's her ID. My ID. Um, no, we we've all, we, yeah we've already got your information on the computer. Zero four one four. Okay. You want us? You want us to go ahead and? I just called Brookhaven, and that's it. I'm gonna give you my card. Yeah, he's gonna give you his card, and we'll explain it. We'll explain it to you in just a minute, okay? Okay. Let's go ahead. And we'll get him. Let's get down here first. Let Levi on them though too. And like I told, like I told her, for what it's worth, we appreciate your cooperation. I'm just, I don't want nobody to be in trouble. Hey, Gerald, this is his shirt. If you want to take that and just give it to them to put, let him put on. All right. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, if you're okay with it, I'm gonna let him turn his wrist the other way. Okay. If you're good with that. Turn your wrist that way. There you go. Is that a little more comfortable? Yeah. And we're going to do the same thing with this one, all right? Let me get to the key. Is up under here. Hold on, hold on. So what typically goes like happens with this kind of case? So, in all honesty, it's a traffic ticket. You just, it's its an arrestable offense, so you're going to go down to the jail. It's a traffic ticket, just like you would have gotten if you called. It's just a little more expensive traffic ticket. So, not necessarily. Go 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 to court. Go to court. You will have to go to court. Yeah, so you're going to have to go I'm to court. I'm going to give you your copy of a citation when we get there. And on, on that citation, I'll explain it all to you when we get there. But before I leave you, you'll have a court date. You have to come to court. This isn't like a this isn't like a regular traffic ticket where you can pay the fine and then you don't have to come to court. Even if you pay the fine ahead of time, you still gotta come to court. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and sit you down over here on the other side. Okay. Uh, he worked the accident. You'd have to ask him. He wanted to know about damage to the other lady's car. She was okay, right? Comparable to what's on your car. I mean, her her back end on the driver's side is, is crunched in, but it's minor damage. Okay, right, half seat right there. Watch your head. All right, I'm gonna reach across you and belt you in so you don't go sliding all over that uh, gotcha. that plastic seat in the gym shorts. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, like I said, for what it's worth, we appreciate your cooperation. All right, you good. I mean, I, I know you're not, not good, but you're you're outcome. as good you're as good as you can be. Yeah, they're 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 definitely not made to be comfortable. Okay. Gotcha. Sometimes if you uh. Like Turn to the side or do like that. It'd be a little more, a little more comfortable. All right. He was charged with hit and run, following too closely, and transported to DeKalb County Jail. But since I didn't, I'm not going no. today. I can't get in from the court. We're, we're not. No, we're not. We're not charging. We're not okay. gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna write in it. I'm gonna write an addendum to his report. Saying what we spoke about, um, and essentially saying that the, what we, the agreement we came to, if you will, okay. Um, the the bigger issue. 
the bigger issue is because of your, of your child. And like he's telling him, I, that until you said you had a 15 month old, that was the plan. But we're not heartless, you know. Um, there's no reason, especially if your child's only 15 months old, to take you away from your child. Uh, you know, you you you've got to live with what happened, essentially. You know, okay. So, um, no, you're not you're not being charged with it. But understand that for future reference, you may love them to death, but lying for them can get you in trouble, also, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Unless you have any other questions, I don't. I don't think. The decap thing is. Yeah, 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 yeah. The place that I'm gonna pick him up from is gonna be the DeKalb County Jail off of Memorial Drive and 285. Yeah. That big jail that's like off the highway. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm out. Those are. You want me to get a picture of the car? Yeah, please. Okay. Those, 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 you got, yeah. You got, you got extra I've got an extra pair. All right. All right. Hey, if you happen to get up with Nate. Get my uh, ones from this morning back. Okay. Okay. He's, he's still got them. All right. I got you. All right. Okay. Thank you very much for your cooperation, Miss Homo. Okay. Thank you. Sorry it had to go down like this, but there's only this is the best way I've we we work we work with you as much as we can. So okay. I understand. All right. Thank you.